K here. Today's video is going to be on things that you should know before you decide to sell on Poshmark. Once again, this video is being recorded with my face completely burnt from the sun. So um, things you should also know is wear sunscreen before you go out in the sun. You don't want to look like this with my nose being completely red and I have a huge suntan where my sunglasses were. Anyway, uh, so I have my notes here as always and I'm just going to be looking at them just as a reference but these are just things that you should know about Poshmark before deciding to sell on Poshmark. So the first thing is there is a very large fee. They do tell you the fee. Say you list something for $100, you may only get $80 out of it. I believe it's around 20% but they will let you know when you're putting your price in that you want to sell for. They'll let you know exactly how much you're going to get at the end and also at the end they only give you your amount. They don't give you the full amount and then charge you at the end an invoice or any fees. It's it's straightforward. It's right in your face. It's like, hey, this is what you're going to get out of it and this is what we're going to give you out of it. There is no confusion. Um, so it is kind of cool that it's out of sight, out of mind, but at the same time, there is a very large fee. It is larger than eBay. So uh, just know that before you go into it. You always want to make sure there is a profit to be made when you're selling. Otherwise, what is the point of doing that, right? Okay, you need to be active. It is a very social site. So you do need to be active. You do need to constantly be sharing your closet. You do need to constantly be sharing other people's closet. You need to be liking people's listings. You need to be putting your listings in parties. They have parties of like, oh, fashion favorites. You need to be sharing your listings into those. Share other people's listings into it. You need to follow people every day find new people, share their closets, it's very, very, very active. If you're somebody who is on social media anyway, you are probably used to being very active, whether that is sharing a Facebook a, face, a Facebook post that isn't getting you any money or if it's liking somebody's Instagram post, you probably are more active than you think on social media, so just continue that, but just switch it over to Poshmark because that is going to be making you money and that is what this is all about, making money. So. You do have to be very active. Okay, shipping is paid by the buyer. Shipping is almost always paid by the buyer. Sometimes Poshmark does do deals where they're kind of, um, if you lower if you lower your item by a certain amount, they'll do discount shipping for a short period of time. Shipping is always paid by the buyer. The only time shipping is paid by the seller, <laughs> so I say always in a, in a in a bracket, but the only time it is paid by the seller is if it is over five pounds. So if somebody purchases a jacket from you and it weighs over five pounds, you will have to pay the price it is from five pounds to whatever it is. You have to pay that out of your selling fee. Also, if somebody sells, uh, buys a bundle from you and all the clothes combined are over five pounds when you ship it, you have to pay that difference. Just say it's six pounds, it might be like a, a few dollars that's gonna come out of your fee. So always be aware that if it's over five pounds, make sure you have a scale, weigh it. Uh, if it's over five pounds and you're offering somebody a discount on bundling, make sure that there's still money to be made because you don't wanna get eaten up by the shipping fee that you're gonna have to pay out on your end if it's over five pounds. You cannot ship in flat rate boxes. You can ship in priority boxes. You can get those for free. I do have a video, I will link that down below on how you can get free USPS shipping boxes, but you cannot ship in the flat rate boxes. This is not priority flat rate. If Poshmark is giving you a flat rate price, that is not the same thing as USPS giving you a flat rate price. Those are two very totally different things. So if the box says flat rate, you cannot use it. That's it. You might get away with it at your post office, but they might ship it back to you also. And you just don't want that on your rating. You don't want it to get, never get to the person, get a bad rating. There's no point. I'm telling you right now, you cannot use flat rate boxes. Don't use them. You can write in the comments below that you can use them, but you're wrong. You can't use them. So don't use them. You could also go on the Poshmark's website and they will tell you that themselves do not use flat rate boxes. If you don't understand what a flat rate box is, this is really simple. If it says flat rate on it, can't use it. That's it. Poshmark, you cannot use it. If it's if it's a free box from USPS and it says flat rate, you cannot use it. Do I have to say that again? I don't think I need to say that. I think you guys got that. Okay. And the last thing I want to say is it takes time to get traction. So if you're thinking that you're just going to go on this and somebody's going to find you and start buying stuff, it's probably not going to happen. When I first went on, um, within 24 hours, I had one sale and I was like, this app is awesome. And it was a Victoria's Secret bra. And the reason why I got traction so fast is because that is something that is very searchable. Victoria's Secret, the cup size, the back size, somebody looked for it, somebody wanted it, somebody found it for a good price. I didn't have another sale for like, months. But honestly, unless somebody is searching for your specific thing, like Victoria's Secret size 32C, whatever it was that I was selling, unless somebody specifically is looking for that and finds it in my listing and purchases it, when you first go onto Poshmark, 
and you're listing maybe no name brands or or brands that aren't that popular it's gonna take a while for people to find your stuff it's gonna take a while for followers to follow your closet and then just like scroll through your closet find something they like put it in a bundle purchase it whatever it is it's not going to happen overnight you might get one or two sales but your real success is going to come over time so just be patient with it make sure you like a lot of things follow people share posts join parties be as active as you can be if you could link it somehow in your other social medias to like try to get people to go there that's great too just be very social be patient have fun, enjoy it, make sure you always know your numbers, make sure you always know your prices. That's about it, that's what you need to know before you decide to sell on Poshmark. So I hope this video helped. This is good for beginners on Poshmark or people that aren't having that much luck selling on Poshmark and are wondering why. I do hope this video helps. If you have any questions, please leave it below and I'll be happy to, to help. If you wanna see any other videos like this or similar to this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and you can also leave video suggestions below. Um, I do love doing things that you guys like to see. So thank you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe once again. And I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with a blog on Saturday and a vlog on Sundays. On my blogs, I like to do things that don't exactly make the cut into my YouTube videos, but things that I still like anyway and I want to share with you guys. So that's about it. Guys, thank you so, so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.